What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be discussing The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 7, and all the spoilers that have been revealed at Star Wars Celebration, as well as my theory as to what could happen. If you're not caught up on the show, be warned there's going to be spoilers ahead, but if you're not worried about that, then let's dive in. So, based on what we know from the various leaks and rumors, it seems like Episode 7 of Season 3 is going to be a major turning point for the series. What's really intriguing is the rumor that this episode will also see the return of a major villain, Grand Admiral Thrawn. For those who don't know, Thrawn was a brilliant strategist and a key figure in the Empire's efforts to crush the Rebellion. He was first introduced in the Star Wars Expanded Universe novels, but he's since been brought into the official canon through the animated series Rebels. Check out my video, Who is Grand Admiral Thrawn, for more information. Thrawn is one of the most formidable villains in the Star Wars universe. That means that the stakes are going to be higher than ever before for Din and the rest of the Mandalorians. We know that Thrawn is a master strategist, and that he's always several steps ahead of his enemies. So if he's going to be going up against Din Djarin, it means that our hero has to be at the top of his game. But what's really interesting is the possibility that Thrawn might not be working alone. There have been rumors that he'll be teaming up with Moff Gideon, the show's main antagonist from Season 2. If that's the case, it means that Din Djarin is going to be facing not one, but two of the most dangerous villains in the galaxy. So how is Din Djarin going to be able to take on Thrawn and Moff Gideon? He's going to need all the help he can get from his allies, including Boba Fett and Ahsoka Tano, and let's not forget, of course, Bo-Katan, including all of the other Mandalorians. Of course, there's always the possibility that not everything is as it seems. We don't know for sure what Thrawn or Moff Gideon are up to and what their ultimate goals are, it's possible that they have their own agendas that don't necessarily line up with the traditional goals of the Empire. So what I'm thinking is that in these last two episodes, somehow they're going to leave it as like a cliffhanger of Thrawn, you know, coming into the picture, leading us out of Mandalorian Season 3 into Ahsoka Season 1. So there you have it, my theory on what could happen in The Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 7. Of course, we won't know for sure until the actual episode airs, but I think it's safe to say that it's going to be a major turning point for this series. Subscribe for more Star Wars content, and may the Force be with you.